My greetings to you. My name is Svetlana Anatolievna Mikheyeva. Today we continue to work with the module Is the Earth in Danger? The theme of our lesson is Natural Disasters Impact. We use English students' book, a textbook for the 10th form of secondary school standard level. The author is Oksana Karpuk. To my mind, it will be convenient for you to use your notebook, a pen and a good mood. Don't forget to stop the presentation if you want to make notes or if you are unsure of something. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell about survival rules and to give some useful tips to participate in common conversational exchanges about the topic of today's lesson. As we continue to talk about nature, I want to read Victor Hugo words. Winter is in my head, but eternal spring is in my heart. And let's start our lesson with the tongue twister about the weather. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Try to read and repeat it several times in order to pronounce it better and faster. And now let's repeat some words connected with the weather and natural disasters. Please stop the presentation, make up some sentences and write them down into your notebooks. Please use the words given in the slide. When talking about natural disasters, we have to understand the are changes which are so great that can cause damage to the shape of the land or to the lives of people and other living beings. Great changes happen deep inside the earth and on its surface. The changes on the outer part of the earth happen because of different kinds of weather. The entire history of humanity is characterized by hunger, misery, poverty and death by starvation because of natural disasters such as floods, earthquakes and drought. Insufficient hygiene or poor health are other reasons for many disasters, particularly epidemics and diseases, especially in medieval times when a third of the population of Europe died because of the spread of diseases such as cholera and plague. And now let's figure out what effects can natural disaster cause. First of all, as a displaced population. Due to the widespread destruction of buildings and property, many natural disasters leave people without a home. This can cause a massive movement of survivors from one area to another, placing a huge amount of pressure on services such as health care and education. Health risks Survivors of natural disaster are often in danger of becoming seriously ill, even after the immediate risk of the disaster event has passed. Health complications resulting from infection and diseases can lead to rising death tolls. If medical assistance is not readily available to survivors. Next, food shortages. Due to the destruction of crops and agricultural supplies, food can become scarce following a natural disaster. 
eight organizations play a vital role in ensuring that survivors are provided with the nutritional support they need, including fresh, clean drinking water. Emotional trauma. Survivors of natural disasters are often at risk of conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder. Children in particular require special treatment to recover from these experiences. Let's find out what all these ovals mean. As you can see, we have a blue, green and red ones. Blue ovals mean environment impact. So, hotter and drier summers influence the quantity of snow back in the mountains and river flooding. Floods and heavy rains can rise sea levels. Warmer temperatures are heating up the ocean and making ice and glaciers melt. That is the reason the sea level rise. It's clear that extreme weather and river floods are closely connected with economic impact. It's green. Extreme weather can damage homes and make places less safe. Floods from rivers and the ocean can damage not only the property, but neighborhoods and businesses. Of course, changes in environment will cost people more money and impact jobs. And we can't forget that crops can be damaged by heat, drought and insects. It influences what food is sold in the market and how much it costs. And of course, we can't forget about health. It's marked as red ovals. Changes in an environment harms people's health. Worse air quality harms people with asthma and heart problems. Heat days can make people sick. We have to remember that high temperature can create more bacteria. Diseases from ticks and mosquitoes can increase too. Now let's open your student's book on page 149 and look at exercise number two. Look at the pictures and describe in two, three sentences each of them in your notebook. So, what can you see in these pictures? What do you think has caused this destruction? Please stop the presentation to think and to write. And now, let's listen to the speaker and name three natural events in the order he mentions. Focus on listening. Page 149. Task 2. Listen and name natural disasters that are mentioned. The Netherlands is very flat and part of the country is below the level of the sea. The people there have to make sure that the walls by the sea are very strong. Usually there is no problem, but in January 1995 it rained and rained for more than two weeks. The water in the canals and rivers rose higher and higher, and thousands of people had to leave their homes because of the danger of floods. They went to other towns and waited until the water level fell again. Hurricanes are very strong winds that come from the sea. Warm, wet air rises in a spiral and goes faster and faster, over 160 kilometers per hour. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew hit Florida. The people there had to leave their homes and move to other towns and wait. When the hurricane arrived, it killed 15 people and destroyed thousands of buildings. More than 50,000 people had nowhere to live. Sometimes, 
In desert climate, it does not rain for a very long time. This happened between 1968 to 1974 in the Sahel, in West Africa. The winds changed direction and the sea did not receive any rain for six years. Hundreds of thousands of people and nearly half of the animals in the area died because there wasn't enough water. People had to walk many kilometers to find water. Focus on listening. Page 149. Task 2. Listen and name natural disasters that are mentioned. The Netherlands is very flat and part of the country is below the level of the sea. The people there have to make sure that the walls by the sea are very strong. Usually there is no problem, but in January 1995 it rained and rained for more than two weeks. The water in the canals and rivers rose higher and higher, and thousands of people had to leave their homes because of the danger of floods. They went to other towns and waited until the water level fell again. Hurricanes are very strong winds that come from the sea. Warm, wet air rises in a spiral and goes faster and faster, over 160 kilometers per hour. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew hit Florida. The people there had to leave their homes and move to other towns and wait. When the hurricane arrived, it killed 15 people and destroyed thousands of buildings. More than 50,000 people had nowhere to live. Sometimes, in desert climate, it does not rain for a very long time. This happened between 1968 to 1974 in the Sahel, in West Africa. The winds changed direction and the sea did not receive any rain for six years. Hundreds of thousands of people and nearly half of the animals in the area died because there wasn't enough water. People had to walk many kilometers to find water. It's time to check listening comprehension. You have to put true or false. Please work in your notebook. Write the number and true or false. Answer the following questions. Which disaster are you afraid of most of all? Which disaster aren't you afraid of and why? Which disasters did you go through? Did you fear for your life in that situation? Which of these disasters are possible to happen in your region? Write down your answers into your notebook. Please stop the presentation to do your task. Listen the instructions and be attentive. Page 150 Task 5. Listen to the instructions and check your answers. As soon as the earthquake starts, students should get under the desks immediately and wait until the teacher tells them it is safe to come out. The teacher should at the same time go immediately to the teacher's desk, get underneath it, and stay there till the danger is over. Students must not argue with the teacher or question instructions. As soon as the vibration stops, all students should walk towards the exit and go straight to the school playground or any open space, such as a square or a park. They must wait there until the teacher tells them it is safe to go. Whatever you do, don't panic. Most accidents occur not as a result of the earthquake itself, but from people panicking. If you're at home when the earthquake occurs, Get immediately under the table in the living room or kitchen. Choose the biggest and strongest table you can find. You must not go anywhere near the windows and don't go out onto the balcony. Once the shaking has stopped, you can come out from under the table, but you must leave the building straight away. You should walk down the stairs and should not use the lift. There may be a power cut as a result of the earthquake 
and you could find yourself trapped inside the lift for hours. If you are in the street when the earthquake takes place, do not stand near buildings, fences, or walls. Move away as quickly as possible and try to find a large open space to wait in. Standing under trees could also be dangerous. Read and decide whether the statements below are true or false. If you are unsure in your answers, please listen to the information once more in the previous slide. If a natural disaster occurs, it's vital to know what to do. You can find a safe place under furniture pieces like a heavy desk or table. Make sure you're away from windows, glass, heavy furniture that can fall over. In the open space, stay away from high buildings, trees, electrical lines and roads. To check your answers, look at the pictures once more very attentively and read the statements once more. As your home task, please revise the information from this presentation and take care of yourself. Our lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. Take care, stay well and stay safe.